welcome back you guys it's a new day a new video i figured today would be a perfect time to do a what i eat in a day to get back to a healthy place because i fell off y'all saw the vlogs i've just been what not here so i'm at the uh gym right now i have pre-workout to start my day and i just finished off my snack and this is what i have before the gym uh they're on my amazon this is my favorite flavor the raspberry the original is really good and i also like the blueberry as well but this one top tier so i'll just eat this this is like 200 calories i'm gonna tell y'all right now too i'm not tracking my calories right now and i haven't been for about two weeks and let me explain something for you guys whenever i fall off I don't need added stress slash pressure to meet a certain goal, hit my macros when I'm struggling to have an appetite and I'm finally getting my appetite back. So I just felt like it would not be good for my mental to start doing that because I wouldn't be hitting those numbers at the end of the day. I just need to focus on doing things one step at a time. And yesterday was like the first day back at the gym where I was able to have my strength where I was you know lifting what i was used to lifting before i fell off so i'm feeling really good and optimistic about my workout today and i'm still not going to track today i kind of just know intuitively how much i need to be eating and what meals are higher in protein that are going to allow me to hit my goal towards the end of the day and they say that you should have at least your body weight in grams if you're trying to build lean muscle so that's just the rule of thumb that i've stuck to during my fitness journey to gain some weight so i'm really excited about my workout today i put on a bright pair of leggings to really just set the mood and tune into that like energy of just a happy vibration bright colors like i'm here i put makeup on a little bit quick five minute face and bam we're here ready to get it in so i will be show you guys the meals that i'm gonna make i went to trader joe's and i have a trader joe's haul which i recently just filmed so i'll put that in the cards for you guys to check out those new items i'll be taste testing some of those today showing you guys how i kind of prepare some meals the lazy way and of course these are all going to be dairy free options because i don't eat dairy and high protein options so i'm really excited about today i figured it'd be the perfect time now that i'm feeling like myself again to kind of just jump back into it with a healthy fresh mindset new goals and kind of start fresh but not really getting back to where we used to be but a step better you know i'm still trying to increase my weight in the gym and all that stuff but we're taking it slow we're easing back into it and you know if you fall off it's okay it's a part of the journey at the end of the day like it's inevitable to have like good vibes good times butterflies rainbows and butterflies i just said that all the time you're gonna have these hiccups in your road but i feel like these hiccups are essential because it makes you come back stronger more motivated and just mentally there when you can overcome that little hiccup that you think is just like oh I'm gonna last forever news check it's not it's temporary right so i've sat in that energy i was sad a little bit and now I'm tired, I'm trying to move on to bigger and better things. So hopefully this will inspire some of you guys to get back into it and you know get back on track or start a routine if you aren't used to one right now. So my gym essentials basically consist of my barbell pad, all these things you can find on my Amazon store. I'll link it down below underneath the fitness category. Comes with this little case that helps it kind of dry if you have to get sweaty like me. <laughs> and then also I'm gonna be doing cables today. So I have to, um, and I always, always, always have my ankle strap. This is also on my Amazon store. I've had this thing for so long and the quality is amazing. So I highly recommend this. I'm gonna be doing a pull day today. So I need this for the booty and also some booty bands i need to get a new set because i use my heavy one all the time and it's starting to show some wear but um these thick cloth ones are so nice they don't tear my leggings like the rubberized ones and they're a lot more comfortable and i feel like i get a really good bit of resistance so i have a really good set on my amazon i think they're like ten dollars you guys for light medium and heavy so i highly recommend those those are pretty much like the three things that i have to have in my gym bag when it comes to like the accessories and stuff that i use i have a jump rope in here but i have not been jump roping okay let me just be real <laughs> and tell you guys the tea and um these dusty beats that i have i have airpods but 
those are like my last resort if I happen to forget to charge these AirPods. I get sweaty, so they just pop out of my ears and then I hear the gym noise and it's not as easy to change the song versus my beats. Boop, boop. On to the next track. I need that motivation. You feel me? So I just prefer beats and... Um, they're really loud so that's always the vibe but yeah that's what we're up to for today you guys stay tuned I'm gonna come back and show you guys my post workout meal and I do need to go to the grocery store because I'm running out of water we can't have that so I need to make sure I have like the specialty items that I can't get at Trader Joe's so maybe I'll pop in and do a mini 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 grocery run show you guys some fun things that I pick up um, but I'm excited to be back and feeling like myself again getting into a steady routine and oh it was not cute falling off mm. I don't like that Kayla mm -mm. <laughs> why is it that I feel the need to carry all of my belongings with me <laughs> in one freaking hand oh hold up y'all whoa not me getting smacked by the door the disrespect there is something so magical let me tell y'all about ooh, wearing bright colored leggings to the gym comment down below if you can relate to feeling more energized i don't know i felt like a baddie in the gym today i was just like killing my sets upped my weight on my leg press by 10 pounds so I'm just, I'm feeling it. It's the bright leggings, and I never wear these leggings. Physically, I'm healthy. I'm feeling strong again in the gym, so this is just the reset that I needed, and I am hashtag very grateful for this day because you got to appreciate those days when you're feeling 100 because when you're feeling like mm, 20%, baby, it's rough, <laughs> and that's where I was this whole month. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I was on a struggle bus. Let me show you how bad how bad it's been for your girl my workouts are used to being very consistent i'm embarrassed to show you oh girl oh what is this sporadic hot mess this is august for me um let me show you the previous month i'll see this what day off struggle bus <laughs> i'm embarrassed but we're here and that is all that matters i'm just saying keep yourself accountable and that's what i'm doing you guys like this is why i love the apple watch because it really shows you how hard you're working how bad do you want that dump truck how bad do you want that dunk how bad do you want that booty meat because baby i just want it that's why i'm here okay so yeah that's just an honest proof is in the pudding okay <laughs> it's it's mm, i don't want to talk about it <laughs> Not a Jeep next to a Jeep, you guys. <laughs> back to back. So today is so hot, it's nearly 100, so I felt like it'd be a good day to hydrate with some coconut milk. I haven't had the dragon drink in forever, and it matches my nails. So, such a mood for today. <laughs> chicken I'm about to make this show you guys how I do like a barbecue protein option I'm gonna make some tacos maybe tonight for dinner so I got some fresh cilantro this bread was just calling my name it's a vegan like Italian loaf style by the way I went to Wegmans I don't know if I said that already I stocked up on some rice just a quick carb source Y'all already know what's up with this. I literally just got the basics, you guys. I was also craving some refried beans, so I got these organic ones. Never had this. This is just the Wegmans brand. Um, the ingredients are just water, pinto beans, canola oil, and salt. And then I also got this. You guys know the, um, I don't know what the brand is, but you know that 
brand of like taco kits that we all grew up eating. I can't eat those. It gives me acid reflux and it's just so much filler in the seasoning and the sodium is just ridiculous. Not that this is any better, but it's 310 versus I think 900. Uh, but this is like Wegmans brand and it's organic. It's probably not too spicy, but um, the ingredients list was way shorter than that other brand. So I'm just trying to make healthier decisions with that. Got some donuts, my vegan donuts. These are bomb. Got some more coffee, because they have this at Wegmans. They don't have this at my Target location. And then I mainly went to get greens. So I'm trying to stick to having a green veggie for my meals. So I got some green beans, lima beans, because they're packed with plant-based protein. I eat this whole thing. And there's 15 grams of protein in that. I'm trying these carrots, so I usually would just get canned carrots, but the only ingredient is just carrot. There's no filler, no preservatives, so I'm hoping that'll just be healthier for me. And just some more green beans. That's my haul. I already went to Trader Joe's, so you guys can go watch that video if you want to see um, more things. This is just like the stuff I had to get um, that Trader's does not carry. So stay tuned if you guys wanna know how I'm gonna make my uh, chicken. I'm just gonna prep the whole thing and I'm gonna try some new spices out from Trader Joe's as well. So I'm excited for that because I already know it's gonna be fuego. This is just like a, literally a vegan ghee alternative. Yes, Kayla, it's based out of coconut and avocado oil. So lots of healthy fats, great for the booty gains. And this is just what I've been using to kind of get the pan nice and um, moist. I hate that word, but you know, chicken is very lean. There's not too much fat. So um, if I was doing like ground beef, obviously I wouldn't add anything in it because it has more high fat content. So I like ground chicken. It's super quick to cook, and honestly, I'm sick of chicken breast at this current moment. So I'm going to spice it up with this barbecue sauce from Traders. Guys, this is so good. Like, I'm going to go get more. I feel like this would be great to crock pot, especially for football season. But it's interesting because it's a cold brew coffee barbecue sauce. Sounds a little weird. Tastes really good. So I like to kind of top off my chicken bowl with that. As far as, like, the spices... I'm going to go in with this. Also amazing. I'm going to definitely stock up because I don't know if this is going to be seasonal for summer or if it is going to be a part of the permanent seasoning selection collection. But this is sweet because the first ingredient, you guys, is barbecue, not barbecue, brown sugar. And I made this last week and it was incredible. So I'll be adding that. Some pink salt, some black pepper, and then just a little bit of this onion salt. Not too much flavors guys seasoning it's on 10 so i'm gonna make this super quick because i am starving wait for me
fridge for one tonight and then one for tomorrow. I actually have some extra protein over there, which I'm going to have after I hop out of the shower. But this is just a simple way on how I like to meal prep. We have a healthy carb. We have protein, of course. By the way, I didn't weigh out or track any of this stuff. I'm not really tracking at this given time. Um, and then some kind of vegetable. Right now, I'm strictly trying to do greens because they are super beneficial for you um and then i topped it off with some of that barbecue sauce which is so good so i highly recommend you guys snag a bottle of that again i don't know if it's seasonal or not these tupperware containers you can find up on my amazon store so i'll put the link in the description box they're fantastic and the perfect size if you want to take these to work with you or just reheat them in the microwave when you are ready to have them so that's my little meal prep got a lunch and a dinner option meal prep is done i'm not gonna eat that right now y'all it's 100 degrees outside it's too hot for cooked food so what i'm gonna have is this wrap that i picked up from trader joe's i've never had this before you guys it's a tarragon chicken salad wrap and this has 27 grams of protein which is awesome 690 calories which is great post gym i haven't eaten at all I've been running around and it's 1.15. I did have my Starbucks, which was really good just to hydrate myself. Um, but I didn't realize that this has almonds in it. I didn't think to put the two together. I was like, oh, no dairy. I'm fine. Um, I don't mind having some almonds here and there because I have it in my coffee creamer in the morning. Um, but I don't really make it a habit to like eat things with almonds so i don't know i'm gonna try this out today and then for a side i want to pair it with these carolina gold barbecue flavored potato chips which i also have not had i think these might be new so i don't know i'm excited to try some new things from trader joe's and by the way that barbecue sauce and the spice mix is amazing so for that taste test i highly recommend you guys pick it up so i guess we're on a barbecue kick today let's see how these are Wow, mm, that's what it is, vinegar. It tastes like a salt and pepper chip with a slight barbecue hint. Wow, okay, so this has um, sugar, has like a top three ingredient. Two grams of protein here for that. Mustard seed, I definitely taste that. Vinegar, tomato powder, malice, malices, molasses, <laughs> onion powder, turmeric, sugar, salt there's a lot of sugar in here you guys they put that ingredient on here twice wish to sheer sauce if you don't like vinegar chips don't buy this it's very powerful but that's really good for my salty tooth right now um i'm really excited to try this though if i could get it open these are great though they have a lot of really good like ready to eat food items at trader joe's which i like to reach for because i'm lazy and even if you're like working and you have a trader joe's by your job or you can pack this for lunch oh my god i really can't open this i feel like these are great like if you just want to eat right now bro i literally i cannot get this open I'm really not trying to break a nail over a freaking chicken salad wrap. Is this good? Because I had this in the fridge for two days now. 
the 27th. I think today's the 26th. Mm -hmm, it smells fine. There's lettuce in here too. And is there egg in this? Tarragon, parsley, almond, romaine lettuce, celery, and white chicken meat in a flour tortilla. So I don't think there is. Oh, there is egg in here. So I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Because I need to eat. And I just prefer foods like this that are cold on a hot summer day. We are definitely in a heat wave, you guys. I'm ready for autumn. Dang, not me eating half the bag. How many servings is this? <laughs> Seven, y'all are lying. Stop lying to me. All right, let's try this wrap out. Let's pray that it's good. I would buy that again. It's giving egg salad vibes. I'm gonna make some lemon water right now because I need the vitamin C. Libra A, quiet time. Did you get the memo? You hear me? I just need some vitamin C and something fresh. Also for my immune system, clear skin. It's just the way to go, you guys. Usually I would have this in the morning, but I um, chose coffee instead. I do prefer lime, I'm not gonna lie, just because there's no seeds and um, I'd be choking on these seeds. So <laughs> limes I'll do next time when I go to the market. Hydrate, you guys. This is your sign to go get a glass of water, pause the video, come back, and drink that H2O with me. <laughs> so I've been wanting to try this out. It's 3 o'clock. And this I got from Trader Joe's, if you guys caught that video. And they're doing these, like, meal prep prepared full meals. So I got this because it was healthy. It would be something that I would kind of make on my own. Um, like a healthy protein, some rice, and then some veggies here. So this has 30 grams of protein, 460 cals. I think it was like $4.99 or something. It wasn't too expensive. Really nice, clean ingredients. And it's just straightforward. You just have to heat it up and serve it. But this has grilled chicken, seasoned rice medley with kale, um, zucchini, bell pepper, squash, and red onion. So I'm going to taste test this thing, see if it's good. And if it is, I'll definitely be picking these up more. And they had another option as well, which I'm kind of curious to see if I will like it. Um, I think the chicken is just like a lemon pepper. I'm not too sure what the spice is. Yeah, lemon juice. So like a lemon pepper chicken breast. So how long do I cook this? Three to four minutes. Um, pierce the film three to four times. Oh, sorry, two and a half minutes. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna heat this up and we'll see if it's good. So I heated it up. It smells a little weird, not gonna lie. I just hope it has some flavor, you know what I'm saying? Some seasoning. Just a little bit. Ooh, it looks really healthy. It looks like one of those like um, meal prep services. I'm gonna take a picture for the thumbnail. Um, and the convenience of it and the fact that it's healthy, that's what really intrigued me to try this out. Let's show you what it actually looks like. And this is it. Let me know if this looks appetizing <laughs> to you. It does not look like this is 30 grams of protein. Like, where though? I just need to know. Oh, there's kale in the rice. I thought the kale was going to be over here. Okay. Okay. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of, I don't know why I'm nervous. I don't really like squash, but mm, let's see how this tastes. 
Oh, this is good. It tastes very fresh, like lemon. Okay, let me get some of these veggies. Mm, this is what's scaring me. Oh, it's just zucchini. Okay, this has like a balsamic vinegary taste. Mmm, not them leaving a stem on the bell pepper. Okay, interesting. Silver line. Fire, fire. 